Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And in today's video, we're going to make a Loki. And we made one Loki quite some time ago, but today we're going to make a special Loki. And that is going to be the Loki from the TV show that I'm currently obsessing over. And that is the TVA Loki, the one in the jumpsuit with the pair of knives that does all the fun stuff. I can't wait to try and find a way to make the TVA Loki. And one of the hard things we have to do is figure out the hair on our lovely Loki who has luscious long locks. How do I find something that gives him the luscious long locks look? Like this is bad. Hold on. Let me try the farmer hair. Take the farmer hair. Color the farmer hair black. It's not bad. Can I add to it? Can I like double up on the hair? try and make it work a little bit better no not that not that not that none of this guys none of this is going to do the job something like that no god no it needs to be a bit longer in the back but not like super long oh i want to give him hair curlers please for the love of god let me give him hair curlers he will look fabulous when i am done do something like that Minus the headband would have been great. Same with this helmet. None of this hair works. All of this hair is terrible. I'm never gonna make Loki. Oh, this one's not bad because it has, Loki's got a big forehead with a huge hairline, but it needs to be a little bit longer in the back. And quite frankly, I can't find anything to like fix it. So you know what? This is it, we're gonna leave that. That's the Loki hair. It's fantastic. Now, we need to give him a suit. He's wearing like a brown jacket with a suit and tie, a pair of brown pants. We can do that. That won't be a problem. Watch, come over here, go to the torso. Let me just type in the word suit and see what we have here. Tab G suit, there's a bow tie. It's not bad. Is there a suit without the jacket? No, we will do the jacket. Watch this, you take the jacket. You color this part kind of a brown, right? No, not, not an orange. Oh God, not an orange, that's terrible. Kind of a brown, kind of like, kind of like that one. The undershirt is a light color. It's much lighter than that. Something like that. And the tie is also brown. Looking at the pictures, you take the tie and we also color it brown. You get a bit of a dark brown. There you go, not bad. Now we need some darker brown pants. I kind of want to make this a darker brown too. Now, never mind, we're going back to light brown. He needs pants. Our Loki he has pants and he's pants if he wants to. Are there suit pants? We have not track suit pants. I need like work pants. Like normal worky work pants. No, it could do something like the fancy good pants. Not bad. Kind of does give you the look of work pants. His pants are dark brown. Like that. Fantastic. Here so far is our Loki. Now he needs some shoes on his feet. So far he just kind of looks like a businessman. Kind of like a boring old business kind of guy. Renaissance shoes? No, not quite. Is there more of like a, a nicer Tab G shoe? There you go. Take those. Color them a nice little black here. Fantastic. Tab G shoes. Now to really make Loki. The TVA jacket wearing Loki look like Loki. He needs daggers. Some nice daggers. Some very good daggers. I could do is like knife. And that's not quite right. It's not, it's not quite the look we're going for. Butcher knife, a little bit closer, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a fantasy feel. It's kind of just, you know, a butcher knife, kind of normal, kind of boring. Are there other knives in the game? Throwing knife, it's not bad, but he doesn't want to throw them. He wants to stabby stabby with the knifey knifey. None of these swords work. None of the Renaissance works. Tab G, no tribal Viking. What about like the good faction or the evil faction? Evil faction, taking a look. Oh, shadow walker daggers. Now, these knives are far too knifey for the Loki from the movie, but they fit him perfectly. I think they'll give him the ability to teleport, which is very much up his alley. Now the knives, we're gonna make them steel blades, steel colors like that, right? Take that, make it steel, take that. Make it steel. Take that. Make those black. This part, make it black. I said black. Now we're talking. That's a knife for Loki. That is fantastic. The TVA Loki is going to be glorious when all is said and done. 
well, when, when I'm said and done. You know what I mean? There we go. Loki Dagger, simply fabulous. And now it is time for the abilities. Let's give him some lovely abilities. Something that would be perfect for Loki fighting. Assassin Poof, you know he's going to teleport across the map and stab you, stab you. That's just fantastic. We've seen him use his Tesseract. He can do it. Now I want the copy ability. We've seen him make copies of himself multiple times throughout the series. So self-copy is just the perfect ability for our lovely TVA Loki here. Let's give him a godlike projectile block because he is a god. He's fantastic. He's all powerful. Pharaoh Neil, because man, he loves to make people kneel in this movie. The first Avengers and a Jester dodge. And yeah, I think that is fantastic for abilities for our Loki here. Now for statistics, we will give him the 100,000 HP, which is standard for our Avengers level units. I almost want to give him 200,000, but we'll see with 100,000. Weight is fine. Movement speed, make it a little bit faster. Attack speed, make it a lot faster. Then damage, well, we gotta make it a whole lot of damage because he's Loki. He needs to deal damage. This is the TVA Loki. I can't wait for the next episode comes out tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it. Let's save and take a picture of our lovely TVA Loki just like that. And let's take TVA Loki for a spin. Here is our TVA Loki looking fantastic, suited up, ready to go to try and solve the mysteries of the TVA. And his opponent is going to be Thor from Endgame wielding Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. Let's see what happens when this guy teleports across the map and the fight begins. TVA Loki with the beautiful teleport trying to make the kneel happen. Oh, struck by lightning from the Thor who leaps across the map, missing his target. The kneel did not work. And now we have TVA Loki in tight on Thor. The Stormbreaker who goes for another leap, misses Loki who's standing there. Like, oh! Massive strike to Loki. Now our enemies are in tight on each other. Another lightning blast trying to make him kneel. It's not working because you know, Thor kneels to nobody. TVA Loki though, not doing a whole lot of stabby stabby. Mostly just kind of standing around letting Thor have his way with him, which is just rude. And Thor continues to try and smash Loki. They should be able to kill each other. They only have 100,000 HP with a boatload of damage multipliers. But I'm quite frankly disappointed in our Loki's ability to do knifey, knifey, stabby, stabby. Is it because I have the kneel ability? And Loki's just standing there trying to make Thor kneel the whole time. There's the copy. Now we've got two sets of kneels. That's not going to help. The copy disappeared. And, and Thor. And Thor. And Thor. Has anyone seen Thor? Loki's trying to find him. It's not going so well. Did Thor fall into the map? Oh, there he is. He popped back into the map. Thor continues the fight against the Loki. Guys, this fight seems like it's going to take forever, but don't worry. We will not leave you hanging. I will wait here until this fight ends. And here we are. Seeing the end. Red victory. TVA Loki defeating Thor from Endgame.